Good afternoon ladies and gents, um, trying to get out today to uh, do this video, it's much requested by a lot of people, uh, didn't happen so it's going to have to be a back garden job anyway. It's just an introduction to the uh, Russian combat suit, more commonly known as Gorka. Gorka roughly transma uh, translates to mountain. Um, and this uh, sort of suit was first seen uh, in the mid to late 80s on Russian, I say, uh, specialist forces rather than special forces, certainly their mounting troops and so forth, airborne forces and uh, marines uh, in Afghanistan. Um, it represented a, a huge leap forward in the stuff that they were issuing to their troops. But ladies and gents, as you know, um, I uh, bought one, I'll give you the price point just to keep you interested, £60, well it's £58.21, okay, and that's delivered from Russia, it comes with the top and the trousers. Um, two questions I've been asked, I'll, I'll put a few pictures on uh, Facebook, I wore, wore it for the whole time at Edel, never took it off, uh, is, uh, is it waterproof? Actually, no, it's not meant to be a waterproof jacket, it's rather like the MTP smocks and or, or what people call the SJS smocks. Um, it's water resistant and you could certainly um, um, put one of the uh, proofers on it if you wanted to, but it's certainly rain resistant, um, but not meant, it's not Gore-Tex, it's cloth, and I'm going to bring you closer and show you the materials and the stitching on it later on. Um, but the idea being that, and I fully support that, um, it, if, it, if you do get wet in it, it will dry very quickly, and the only thing you've got to dry this thing or any clothing very quickly is your body heat, which, um, as it's as it is like it is now, it will do successfully. Um, now, do you sweat a lot in it? Well, it's not a Gore-Tex jacket, so no, and you don't sweat any more than you would do in any other clothing, you know, a, a full raven jacket or, or any type of jacket. So, ladies and gents. Um, it comes with um, obviously a set of trousers and I'll show you them in detail but I'm going to talk about the jacket now. It's the style that I love, um, it's the pull on style. It has obviously a kangaroo pocket here and that's a good, there's a pencil, that's how far it goes in. Everything on this is done up with buttons and that's done for a reason because if a zip busts in the field you can't fix it but you can sew on another button okay. So there's two buttons that hold that down. Inside this pocket is another pocket nicely sealed with velcro and certainly that can go for you know like your keys or any important items and certainly will fit an iPhone in there keeping it safe and close to your body and warm as well so your battery don't run down but anyway we're, we're talking about the, the jacket today it cinches up at the side okay which is very nice keeps all the heat in I deliberately now have put me uh, the most bulkiest um, sort of fleece jacket under this and uh, yeah it's very very warm well I said this isn't waterproof okay it's not inherently waterproof it's certainly weatherproof it is windproof and that's something that's very very important okay keep that wind off you right on that as you can see it's got um, different colors on it okay it's got a two-tone on it the the darker bits if you are camouflage lad and you like all that you can get them in camouflage okay but this is a Gorka 4 okay um, a Gorka five has a um, buttons down the front so there's two different types you can go for but um, this material here the lighter olive green stuff is a really nice tough close woven um, cotton and I describe it more than as, as a canvas rather than cloth but it's in no way heavy okay um, the darker bits I'm going to bring you and show you them closer up um, are in like a, a, a ripstop but texturized nylon and everywhere you need it okay where you're going to have heavy wear i.e. the pockets, the cuffs, and uh, the elbow pads, and the um, sh shoulder pockets, which has got two on, one on each arm there, will have it. Un underside there, you'll see, there's a piece of Velcro, and you cut a little bit of roll mat and just stick it in there, protect your elbows, and I've already done that. There's very little that I'm going to do to modify this Gorda, uh, Gorka. Uh, there's just not much more that it needs doing, to be perfectly honest. Um, so there you go ladies and gents, it's got a very generous hood, with the little peak cap on it, and again, this does up with buttons, okay, so if you have a problem with buttons, well, keep having a problem, because the idea is, that if this breaks down in the field, you as an individual can main maintain it, okay, and uh, that comes right up to your neck, it has got the cinch down points, okay, as they all do. 
So you can pull it right down. And at the back there, it's got another one that really pulls it tight to your head. And as you can see, there's the reinforcing that goes all the way through the Gorka jacket. Something that I really, really like. Elasticated cuffs, but they're not gonna cut off any circulation. And here, just to pull it all in, there's a, another piece of elastication that I quite like. Keeps it all tight and tidy and pulled into your body while you're not flapping about. Now, when it is hot weather, because this is designed to be an oversmog, when you're walking, that bellows effect you get, again, uh, will help cool your body, all right? So there we go, ladies and gents. That's the uh, jacket. But what I will say, and I do like, there is a stitching down the front there. Each pocket, each side of it has, and again, it's all that reinforcing wear and tear, has a hand pocket there and a hand pocket there, okay? And they're double lined. Um, and it, where it is, it goes in there. Anything will drop to the bottom. So when you're sat down, nothing's gonna fall out of your pocket or even if you're rolling around. And like I say, that one goes over and it flaps over again. You know, a really simple but ingenious design. Um, I've put a few bits of Roka on there, just so I can put a couple of um, um, patches on there, ladies and gents. But yeah, there we go, the Gorka jacket. Shoulder, all reinforced, arms, love it. And as I said, 60 quid for a jacket and a trousers, you're having a laugh. Um, what I will do now, um, just take the jacket off and show you the trousers. Okay, some people don't like the pull over head design, I do. But as I say, I've got my old uh, Belgian or French fleece under that, so you can see. Even though it fits me, it's designed to have stuff go underneath it, okay? So, without wishing to make anybody blush, I'm gonna take this off. And what you'll see, I looked at it and I thought, yeah, you're having a laugh. And when I first got it, a man around the house going, it fits, it fits me, Gorka fits me, Mrs who's hanging onto the camera for me, just said, you look like Steptoe and Son, because it's got braces. Ladies and gentlemen, I've worn this sort of five, six, seven, you know, all the way at E-Dale and so forth. These are the most comfortable pair of trousers that I possess. Uh, I will be modding other pairs of trousers to use this system of the braces. Now, old soldier boys up in Brecon, junior Brecon, you know, um, in and out of the water all the time, you're soaking wet. If you've got a belt, you, you're gonna, <laughs> braces were used, okay? Um, and I like these, they are high waisted, again button fly, again it's got um, side pockets and again normal sizes and the material goes all the way down and around and again here you see there's a little piece of uh, it's cinched in just to stop it all flapping about and it comes elasticated which is no problem, um, just stops any creep and crawly getting up your legs. Now when you've got the braces on ladies and gentlemen I'll tell you what's the most comfortable pair of trousers that I've ever worn, okay? I mean, Reading Tackle's not getting pulled up and squashed, I like a bit of room there. Uh, High-waisted, and it's got the buttons, so if, indeed, um, it fails, you could just sew another button on. But as we go round, as you see, it's got a high back, and an elasticated back there, so you don't get no, what I call, builder's bum, and also, you do not get any wind, you know, the cue the north wind when you bend over, it doesn't happen, ladies and gents. Um, I will, this is tight what's now gonna come closer and just catch that. I'm gonna show you the back of the uh, strapping. I've had a Bergen on, it doesn't sort of rub or chafe or anything like that. But this is the attachment point, ladies and gents. And as you can see, it's got um, belt loops should you want them there. But primarily, Mrs. Tightwad's gonna focus in on this. Again, uh, really tough, robust elastic. Doesn't cut into you. I slept in these kegs um, three nights at Edel, okay? Um, I wanted to sleep in another night, but my missus wouldn't let me wear them to bed. Um, but again, simple, robust. Keep it simple, keep it stupid, okay? I will be modding some trousers to take this system, okay? So we've got one button there. It's at the sides. It's never got in the way, never dug in me. But ladies and gents, just watch. Put one over. And it's still there so there's a double locking loop on that and it's one button if it breaks it's easily fixed and there we go that's the system there okay I might even replicate that if I can't get hold of a, another one of these okay and the, the, all the buttons on here uh, are slotted um, what they call the Belgian or NATO button and literally belt loops but it's got a little loop there and I'm going to be saying that little loop onto a lot of my trousers so I can simply do this Again, if you just wanted to wear a belt, then that's fine as well. 
if you don't want and you get one and you don't like the harness please send it to me we'll have a little deal on something and then to make sure it's fully secure it's over there like that and I tell you what they're the most comfortable pair of kegs uh, I can't speak highly enough for these um, it's just there all the time uh, my kegs are not falling down and they're really comfortable now as we go around it's got two back pockets and there's my hand inside of them and again decent old buttons on there and it's got that uh, waterproof nylon which I'll be um, I say waterproof it's weatherproof more than that all the way down the back of the jacket and uh, like I say um, loving these trousers loving the jacket the suit for 60 quid can you go away and get a decent you know and we're talking about a robust uh, jacket and trousers um, I think it was 58 pounds 27 anywhere on the internet um, then if you can let me know um, mods uh, the only thing I've done on the jacket is sew a few patches on uh, or velcro for patches uh, put some roll mat into the uh, shoulder pads and ladies and gents and I'll show you how to do it just for me just because I like it okay I'm gonna unstitch round there okay and that way that'll give me a tube I'm gonna drop in a piece of roll mat in there okay just to so you know old man knees and all that I'm not like hurting my knees as I go down and it's giving me some insulation from the ground which is always good so ladies and gents uh, that's the Gorka Gorka 4 um, I will um, drop the link to the seller, uh, used him once, took nine days I think to come from Russia. Uh, what you need to do is tell, tell him how tall you are, how wide you are, uh, you know, and that sort of stuff. He will find the Gorka to fit you, okay? And if he hasn't got one, he's honest and he tells you, he says I can get one in a couple of weeks or whatever. Um, Again, okay, no affiliation between me and this seller, apart from me selling the right gear at the right time, and mine turned up with no problems, ladies and gents. And uh, again, anybody on eBay uh, or on Google, Gorka, and this particular version is the Gorka 4, okay? They're different numbers, just to you know, some of them have um, button-up and some of them have zip-ups, okay, ladies and gents? So on that, um, you know, I'm loving them. Load of people, um, since I put the pictures up, I'll pass the link to the seller. Uh, when you get yours, I hope you like them. But yeah, 60 quid jacket and trousers. And again, um, as I think it was Phil Abdul said, uh, oh, well tactical. Well, you know, they're not camouflage, but you know, um, if you needed to disappear for any reasons or be covert, like we do sometimes, this is a good way of doing it. And also, should you need to, um, you can round, you know, the town centre. Uh, certainly, I, I, I wear this a lot when I'm just walking my dog, but you know, sometimes I take them out for a couple of three hours. Right, ladies and gents, on that, um, the Gorka 4. Hopefully, that's uh, going to answer all your questions. And uh, if you've got any questions, please drop them in uh, below or Eddie Mac on Facebook. Right, so thank you very much and take care. Right, ladies and gents, um, just show you the jacket a little bit close up. Um, trousers are exactly the same sort of build quality, so uh, no need to go into them. Okay, pull over head smock design. Obviously, um, a couple of patches on there are just mine. Uh, start with the sleeves. Okay, everything on this is uh, double stitched. Okay, call it a manufacturer. I'd say uh, at the very top end. Okay, might not, not notice a few chalk marks, just where I've just been measuring up for some patches. But as we can see here, brilliant. And uh, I will... Velcro is uh, very, very tough. To show you the inside of this material. Might edit that bit out. But as I say, it's... Is it going to focus for me? Uh, rip stop it's rip stop material and it hasn't got uh, the shiny plastic back into it so it's just really hard tough robust uh, material for all your stress points and wear points on a jacket shoulders and the arms and uh, again nicely elbow pad there like I said it has a velcro opening and all you've got to do is cut a little bit of roll mat and uh, it takes a little time. I cut one out and made the shape with a piece of cardboard so I've got each one, you know, it fits it fully and that's worth doing because that gives you a lot of protection and insulation from the ground. Um, we've got the side opening pockets uh, that go down as well and all the way along to the middle. 
Um, if you wanted one that went all the three, all you need to do is unpick that stitching because I've just sewed the two bits together. Obviously that's double line there as well and it really helps with uh, windproof protection. Uh, cord round the bottom and what I do like about that is um, you see how one goes into the other. There we go. Nice, simple, nothing flash, nothing fancy. Proper military grade. Well, it's a military jacket. It's shame stupid, doesn't it? Um, shock cords, buttons, and so forth. And like I say, it's got the old um, slots in there, so that really does keep help keep out the wind and the rain. And uh, also two buttons there. What I might do, just because I'm a bit of a lazy twat, is so some take these two buttons off and sew a piece of velcro along there, just to velcro that pocket down, just so I can push it shut. I'll let the aircraft go over. here on every pocket okay all the wear parts are um, f fully reinforced again and like I said inside and it's going to be a pain to open there's that um, pocket inside there show you it and that's just a nice size for keeping you know your phone your wallet and anything secure again nice uh, size and bellows uh, shoulder pockets And there you see the uh, uh, padding that anybody can put in. A little bit of roll mat, job done. And uh, the cuffs. And that's something I like. Um, there's the gather there, just stops it all flapping about. This thing's designed as a smock to go over everything you're wearing. Again, so don't worry about getting one size sort of bigger. But email the guy, he will give you the, the gawker for your size. They're... they're sewn up to be a little bit uh, generous on the sizes lads but i don't want to mention that because somebody will get one size down don't get one size down get your size um and that will be the dog's what's it do like the old uh, hood on it and like i say full stretch along the bottom is the sort of weatherproof um shoulder portion there and all the way down so ladies and gents and is uh, it's cinched in at the sides a little bit there anyway which uh, stops it from flapping about in the wind but also does let the top of the jacket have a bellows effect so all your heat comes out here right ladies and gents I, i'm uh, uh, a gawker gawker 4 um loving this jacket uh i'm gonna mod the jacket i can't think of anything else to do but I'm maybe make that pocket velcro just because i'm lazy about doing that buttons and the kegs i'm just going to undo one bit of stitching i'll show you how i'm going to do that's easy to do um, you can do it on any same machine and just put some uh, knee pads in and that's it it doesn't need anything else in my view um, like I say there's uh, people say oh we should be wearing something for a year before it, uh, you know it's a jacket um, it's like any other jacket it's not suddenly going to fall apart when it gets wet and uh, as you can see it's built well it's uh, obviously cheap enough for everybody to afford one and uh, yeah uh, very happy I got this and certainly at the price I got it which was let's just say 60 quid buying some some loose change so uh, on that ladies and gents hopefully that's what you uh, you were all asking for um, again build quality of the trousers is exactly the same as a jacket so I'm not going to bore you with that right anyway ladies and gents take care and uh, again thank you for watching my films I am a professional Russian I'm a professional fashion. <laughs>